Hello, Gmail has a really cool feature where you can send a confidential email. You can have it expire, whether in one week, one month, one year. You can also prevent people from printing the email, downloading the email, and forwarding the email. So let's see how this works. And to do this test, I'm going to send it to another Gmail user, but I'm also going to send this to someone that's using Outlook or another service besides Gmail. So just so you know how, how I have this set up, I'm running Gmail with one account that I use. I also have Gmail running with another account, so I'm going to send it from my account to Carol Martin's account. Confidential mode, let's see how this works. Here we go, compose. Now, because I'm recording using Camtasia, I believe this email may be covered up by some of the YouTube information, so I'm gonna close this one. I'm still gonna do a compose, but here's a little tip, Gmail tip for you. Hold down the shift key, click compose with the mouse, let go of shift, and you now have a window that's floating to compose. It's cool little, cool little tip. I'm going to send this to Carol Martin. Notice Carol has a Gmail address. I'm making up a subject. So, so far, there's nothing different. I'm just composing an email. Assume this is something confidential. Look, there's some text. I'm just making up stuff, but here we go. To make this a confidential email, I'm going to move to the right of send. There is a lock and a clock. It says turn confidential mode on and off. I'm going to select it. So here are the options for confidential mode. First, you can set an expiration. There are your options. If by chance I was to pick one month, and then after four or five days I decide I don't want this, the recipient to see it, I can go block them from seeing it after four or five days instead of a month. So you can tweak this once you've sent it. I'm going to just do one day, or I'm going to do one week. Today, by the way, is May 4th, 2019. So it's showing me May 11th over here. I'm going to go first with requires passcode. Here's how this one works for no SMS. If you send it to someone that has a Gmail account, they'll be able to open it, but it's still in confidential mode. They can't download, forward, or print it. If you send it to someone that has an Outlook account or something other than Gmail, they still can't forward, print, or download, but they'll get a second email automatically with a passcode number to have to type in to open the first email. So they'll actually get your original email then they automatically get a second email. If you're really worried about it, SMS passcode, you would only use this one if you actually know their mobile phone number, because then they'll get something on their mobile phone. So this one over here to the right applies to both Gmail and Outlook. But let's try this one first. Notice when I hit save, it puts this information down here at the bottom when it expires. Notice it says they cannot forward, copy, print, or download the email's contents. All those features are disabled, so they can't do any of those. I could hit edit and get back in here, but I'm going to hit save again. I'm going to send this off to Carol. <clears throat> The message was sent. I'm going to open up Carol's email. So now I'm in Carol's email account. She just received my email, clicks it, and it even says, by the way, this message was sent in confidential mode. So I'm going to click it to open it. So that is what Carol sees. Content expires May 11th, which is exactly a week from today. Let's test this. Options to forward, copy, print, or download are disabled. I don't see forward. 
I don't see print, and I don't see download. I didn't do it in this example, but if I would have attached a file, Carol can view the file online, but she still can't download or print the file. So I did test that, but I'm not showing it in this exercise, but it does work and all that. Here we go. So now I'm going to go back to my email, compose. I'm going to send it to my Outlook account. And again, down at the bottom is confidential mode. I'm still going to leave it as a week, but I could change that. Here we go. No SMS passcode. Save. Send. I'm going to open up my Outlook account. Let's see what that looks like. Now, I've opened up my Outlook account. Here's the email sent to me from the Gmail that was confidential. Let me pull this into the window. There's the email. I'm going to go ahead and download the pictures. And it says, this message was sent on May 4th. You can open by clicking the link below. So this person can't even see the email. And when I hit view the email, watch what happens. There is the screen that says, hey, Chris Menard sent you a confidential email. Send passcode. Now it wants me to put in the passcode. So basically, I've got to go back to my email and check it. So let me open up Outlook again. One thing I do want to mention here is this is where if you're sending a confidential email from Gmail to someone that does not have a Gmail account, obviously you're going to tell them you're sending a confidential email. But you may want to tell them also that they may need to go check their spam folder to make sure it's not in there. Because sure enough, look, junk email for Outlook there it is. I'm going to double click it. 816-430-816-430. Submit. So now this person can actually view the email that I sent them. Here, test is all I typed. So anyway, confidential mode from Gmail. Let me jump back over there just for a second. Compose, confidential mode, is a really cool feature. So to summarize, you can change the expiration. You can also come in here and decide whether there's no SMS. If they have a Gmail account, they don't need it. If they have an account that's not Gmail, they'll get a second email with a passcode. But if you know that they have a mobile phone and you have their number, this applies to Gmail or Outlook, SMS passcode required. If you want to know how would you change or click on to expire, if I went to my sent folder, any emails that I sent earlier, there is remove access. So this is the Carol Martin email. I was doing this earlier, but there is the remove access. Once you click that, the person you sent a confidential email to will not be able to view it. Here's the email I sent to my Alec account. Anyway, I went a little long. I try to keep my videos a little bit shorter, but feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope this answered your questions about confidential emails and Gmail, and have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.